do. That's what Roddy Piper was able to do. You know, that's what Dusty Rhodes was able to do. Ric Flair, I can go on and on yeah. and on. You don't hand those motherfuckers a script. Let them go out there and be who and what they are. So that's interesting you say about feeding off other wrestlers and what they say and listening to it and cutting your own promo off that rather than be scripted because isn't that how Austin 316 first came about? Didn't you listen to what Jake Roberts said after King of the Ring and you, you fed off that and 316 was born? Almost. Almost to that effect. Uh, what had happened was I was working with Mark Merrow in the first match and uh, Mark does a little what a kind of move and kicks me in the mouth and splits my upper lip open. So uh, win the match, haul ass to the hospital. This is in Milwaukee. They put about 14, 16 stitches in my upper lip and I come back and, and I still have my gear on. As soon as I step out of the ambulance, there's Michael Hayes, Doc Hendricks. Yeah. He goes, Steve, uh, just want to let you know that you wrestled with Jake in the finals. The water you're gone. Jake cut a religious based promo. I said, what the fuck did you say? He said, uh, Austin J. Sunday was young, 316. You know, it, it makes words to the effect that, you know, you know God help me. I, I got stone cold. He said, we need the help of the Lord. And so, man, as soon as he said that to me, he didn't say John 316, he didn't say Austin 316. He just said, Yeah. 